freaking sucks. Look, look at this, look at this. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. No problemo, I'm Junior and my lens is dirty again. Why are my lenses always dirty? Okay. Hopefully that's better. Um, Alright, I hope that's good. Um, I have a habit of like having dirty lenses and glasses and that's why I'm always cleaning like my glasses, my lenses, any smudge that I see I just... <sighs> so what I have going on today is church and a friend asked me if I could take some pictures so I thought it would be the perfect time to talk about how I got into photography and whew, that goes way way back okay so the way I got into photography the way I got into photography was through my dad and my uncle both of them at the same time um, my dad was going to school just to like get new skills and stuff like that. He was working his job. This is when we lived in LA. And he was going to school for photography. So obviously he had a camera always around. And by the way, I'm filming on my uh, 50 millimeter lens. So that's probably why it like zoomed up. But I really, I really don't know how it looks. It's the first time I'm using it. But I like how crisp and sharp the image is. So I'm just, I'm just trying it out for now. Okay, so before I go, I gotta get my backpack. This is my photography backpack and my everyday backpack because this is my only backpack. Sorry. So I got pens, which I need. Some cleaning cloth and trash. Cleaning cloth, Peak Design sticker, and tea bag. Why? I don't know. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna put is my 50mm lens. I love using this one for like really dark photos and stuff like that and a lot of that bokeh in the background so if you guys don't know what bokeh is it's that blurry background that you get when you have like a subject in the frame and then see how like everything else is blurred out back then back there yeah so we got the lens hood why do i need this I don't know. It makes me look more professional i got my wrist strap that goes into the side Design. I have a problem with peak design. I love peak design. I'm addicted to it. Capture clip that's on my backpack. So where my camera goes, but I'm not using it. Ah, notebook. This notebook is full with like ideas and stuff for my YouTube channel. And I'm taking it because I literally have been watching YouTube videos, especially this guy named Nick Nim. Nimmin, Nimmin. I love his channel, just found it and it has like so many things that just clear up YouTube and make it easier for you, so I've been taking notes. Why am I taking What the hell? I don't remember taking this? Photography. So just ideas and stuff. So I'm gonna fill it up with stuff today. Cause I have more like ideas for content like vlogging, challenges, skits, just yeah. Here. Charger, I have one in the car, phone. Spider Man mask. Why not? What else do I need? Sip, spare camera? Do I need a spare camera? It's gonna be dark and this one doesn't take good pictures of the dark. Which I still love it though, but I love the one I'm using right now, the A7 III by Sony. Mm. I think that should be it for now. Almost forgot. Extra batteries. 
always gonna have extra batteries. All right, goodbye. Okay, so like I said before, photography has been a part of my life for a long time. It's a hobby that I like to do, not something that I want to make it like like a career out of, a career out of. Um, I do want to improve my skills like, because I want to take some really really good pictures. Like I want to get like be a pro photographer level, but as a hobby. And growing up, we've always taken a lot of pictures. These three trunks get they get bigger are full with pictures from our family, so from my like, childhood and just who knows. This is backwards. This book is where it all started. This is where my parents got into photography, especially my dad. That's little me. Very cute. Ew. Can't see that. My mom, my dad will always, always take pictures. He would always be like just taking pictures of my mom. My mom would love to be in front of the camera as a model. And then I started taking the spotlight and then it's my dad and he was young. Man. So yeah, it's just me growing up and my dad always taking pictures every single birthday, you know, traditional. We had our Halloweens, <laughs> that's me as Barney. Me riding a baby cow, a little heifer. Christmas, Christmas, I was, you know, I was pretty, pretty sharp dressed all the time. Always riding, had nice cars. How my girlfriend says, bougie or whatever. Oh my God. Halloween, Halloween, but yeah, so. That's one reason I've been into photography for such a long time, because of my dad. So, whew. all right, ladies, let's head out. I gotta move my shoes so Bella don't chew them up again. So, I was quite upstairs because everyone's asleep. I don't know if this is zoomed in right now. I just had a little accident. I'll show you guys what happened. But I am doing my laundry. It's 6 a.m. Everybody's asleep. I haven't slept at all. I don't feel tired, which is really weird. <laughs> Before we talk, continue talking about like the whole photography thing and how I got into it, I'll show you guys something. Okay, so I am in the garage. Like I said, just doing laundry. Um, I haven't slept, and everyone's asleep, so I don't want to make any noise to wake everybody up. But I did. I woke everybody up because my camera fell while I was coming downstairs, and I don't know what the hell. Like I thought I tightened this, and I'm, I'm sure I, I tightened it. I don't know if it's because I'm, I haven't slept, so I'm like I'm not there. <sighs> so my camera fell out of the tripod. Um, luckily, the camera didn't break but something did break and it was my lens my kit lens it just freaking sucks look look at this look at this I don't know if you guys can see this I'm using my 50 millimeter and it's a good lens for taking pictures it's a prime lens it doesn't zoom in or out so I don't know where, like how close we are right now normally with this kit lens it's at a 28 millimeter uh, I'm like arms length away from the camera and I feel like I'm pretty close up so I'm assuming this one is close up Ow. Oh, just like the worst thing that could happen right now. I'm trying to finish this daily vlog for 30 days, and it's just like I don't want to keep going. I'm, gonna, I'm being honest with you guys. I don't want to keep doing this for 30 days. Like, as, as daily vlogging is hard. For those people that were doing it, I like I know how David Dobrik would do it, and now he was just doing it once in a while. Like, it, it's must suck for him. 
I, the L's of L, L of Mills, L of whatever, L Mills, she had that whole burnout thing and what she went through and I've seen her videos, it's like, I'm only doing this for 30 days and I'm already frustrated and I want to quit so bad. But like I said, I'm going to finish this and this is not helping. Like this freaking sucks. Like, luckily, like I said, I'm trying to look at the bright side of my camera didn't break. Uh, at least I'm hoping everything works fine. But, God. Now, as soon as this happened, I just looked at the camera and I was just like, <sighs> checked it, everything was fine. So I was like, okay, <laughs> it sucks. I'm gonna blame myself. I didn't tighten it right. I'm not gonna blame anybody else. There's no one else I can blame. And there's no point in blaming anybody else. So, I mean, this is gonna push me to buy another lens. I've been wanting a wide angle lens. It's just. They are expensive for this camera, a7 III, full frame, really expensive lenses, but I mean, I'm gonna do it. I, I, I've been wanting one, so this is just pushing me to do it, so. But photography, <laughs> yeah, freaking sucks. Like my story, it's my first attempt at telling a story. I gotta improve a lot and learn how to work with whatever happens, because, but just, Hope you guys liked today's video. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. It was, this is video number 25 of the daily vlog for 30 days. I'm almost there. I did kind of like stop for a little bit because I had to, like I said, recollect myself and and I just want to make it even. So starting Monday is going to be like like the last five, Monday through Friday. So just make it even. That's why I had to like kind of just stop for a little bit. So I wanted to be perfect. And yeah. Um, hope you guys like, share, and subscribe. Please share your video with your friends. I'm, I'm still learning a lot. I just found a YouTube channel that explains everything for YouTube. Like how to make it work and how to do things right. So like it was just like, so I have a lot of things to fix. There's a lot of things that I've been doing wrong. That's why my channel wasn't growing. But for those of you that have been supporting me, thank you. I really appreciate it. Not gonna lie, it's really hard right now. Like, and I, I don't mean to be negative. I just really want these. 30 day daily vlogging to be over. I want to be a daily vlogger. I'm just trying it out, but it's really hard. And my respects to all those people that have made big channels from daily vlogging. Casey Neistat, um, Peter McKinnon, that was doing it, uh, David Dobrik, and others that I don't even remember your name. Or I mean, or other people that I might be forgetting or I don't know. But dude, you guys are awesome. This sucks. It's like, really hard especially when things go south like it's just <sighs> oh god what did i get myself into